Declutter your mind, develop into you. Trust in his word, that's the best you can do. Learn every day, hear what I say. Hi ladies, today's video is three verses to help you navigate your feelings. So the first verse we have here is Ephesians chapter 4 verse 46 to sorry not 46 26 to 27 be angry and sin not let not the sun go down upon your wrath neither give place to the devil be angry and sin not let not the sun go down upon your wrath neither give place to the devil so when you break down this verse, the first thing is be angry. I like that because that sounds like compassion and understanding. I know you're angry, so be angry. You're sad, so be sad. There's a time and a place to feel. Allow yourself to feel. Do you see what I'm saying? Don't try and ignore it and sin not. So, okay, you're sad, you're angry, you're frustrated. But just because you're frustrated, you still need to have self-control in your actions. That doesn't mean that you have a right now to go and act wickedly. Yeah. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Reconcile quickly. My days, there, there have been a lot of times when I've let, I've let a lot of sunsets go down upon my wrath, to be honest with you. You can ask my husband about me. There's been a lot of sunsets. And the thing that I like about us now is that we... We quickly, you know, we do reconcile quickly now because we recognise more and more we're not each other's enemy and this argument, sometimes it's really pointless. Sometimes you're just up in your feelings. It could be an off day and it can be sorted out. Yeah? Neither give place to the devil. When I think about that part, I think this, to me, I could be wrong, but I see this as when people say, I'm okay. I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, okay then. All right. If, if that's what you say. I definitely see this as a passive aggressive approach to things and passive aggression is a way of expressing negative feelings in indirect rather than direct ways. Instead of having open honest conversations about how they feel wronged, the individual may use hints, silence, denial and other subtle tactics to communicate their discontent. Um, so. The, the reason why I thought that was important to put in there is because, you know, as we said, there's people who are just aggressive, aggressive, but passive aggressive people. The reason why this is just as dangerous as just being all out there aggressive is because you give the illusion that everything's OK. But these are the type of people where, you know, they say they're OK. And then the brush that you use to brush your hair, they used it to to brush some animals back. So I don't know. I'm trying to think of like the worst thing ev ever but I'm just saying like don't think that you're a cut above because you feel like you're like you have self-control passive aggression is a false sense of self-control I hope I'm making sense okay so it's better to just talk openly if something is bugging you upsetting you it doesn't sit right in your spirit just address it head on because all of those suppressed feelings is going to come out somehow yeah and when it comes out as passive aggression, it's usually more spiteful. You know, you'll find um, passive aggressive people are generally a lot more spiteful. They plot and plan more sinister with it. So the second verse is Mark chapter 14, verse 36. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what thou wilt. What I like about this is that in this verse, Jesus is recognising that God has the ability to bear our burdens and he's honest. He's saying, I don't want to do it, but you know what? I'm going to let you lead. Again, we're seeing, the on we're seeing honesty. The Bible likes when people keep it real. God himself said, just be hot or cold. Don't be in the middle. Be you know choose life or death god is very much black and white very much darkness and light there's just a separation do you see what i'm saying it's us who are always trying to create the gray so that we can have our way you know like to rhyme yeah but i really love this because jesus is showing us that just just give it to god 
the third verse is proverbs chapter 11 verse 14 where no counsel is the people fall but in the multitude of counselors there is safety i love this seek guidance from good christian friends or a counselor they can help you to see if you're acting up or if you know okay we understand how you feel but you know when you have really good friends they will let you know do you know what you're in the wrong because of course we all love to like vent to people tell them how we've been wronged but a good friend will say okay i know there's another side of the story here what is the other side of the story yeah because it's easy to feel nice like oh i'm the victim but sometimes you're the person who's done wrong but the way how you're painting the picture you're putting yourself in the best light and a good friend will say mm, let me pick this apart something is not adding up here there's something in the milk yeah all right so our verse of encouragement today is psalm 119 verse 24 thy testimonies also are my delight and my counsellors so i love that because you know um obviously i i advise if you can if you want to use the resources seek good counsel but remember ultimately the bible is the best counsellor it, it's full of you know a lot of um stories it shows you what people have been through there's a lot of lessons to learn there it's a book about god's relationship with humanity yeah there's human beings even jesus himself walked in humanity yes yeah? so he can relate to you he can relate to you because he understands what you're going through yeah so just remember that when you when you feel like nobody understands or whatever it may be that you're going through just remember that jesus actually understands because he walked this walk he came in uh, into earth he was in human flesh yeah so just remember that if you ever feel like oh god is so disconnected he's not a disconnected god he's literally right there with you and i'm telling you if you see any of these things in yourself you're letting the sun go down talk it out if you see that you're a passive aggressive person come off your high horse and stop feeling like you have self-control you really don't because in your heart you're killing the person you're saying yeah it's okay but in your heart you're thinking boy if i had a car i would run you over and and that's the type of things that you'll even do you could someone could be outside and you just give them a bump or whatever i'm telling you let me tell you something suppressed anger will come out somehow yeah that suppressed anger is going to come out on something or somebody or yourself so please just give it to god he's the ultimate burden bearer allow god to navigate your feelings okay then ladies i'll see you later bye